Hello ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to do a quick demo on acids and bases. So what I have set up on my tray is a couple key pieces of information. I got some red litmus paper, blue litmus paper, a pH paper, and then two types of indicators. In my spot plates, um, unfortunately this one was not as clean as it should have been, I have about five different clear liquids, which you cannot see very well. I have five liquids set up. So the idea behind this is I want to look and see uh, which ones are acids, which ones are bases, maybe there's a neutral, and what is its potential pH? Because again, if I don't know and I'm in a lab and they are just clear liquids, I'm not going to taste it, I'm not going to smell it, those are very dangerous. So instead we're going to do some experimenting and decide what it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take my litmus papers, I'm going to dump them in and look for a change. A change on a red piece of litmus paper to blue, so red to blue, means that it is a base. So right now, I can confirm my suspicions by grabbing a blue piece of litmus paper. And you can see there is no change. So the first one is probably a base. I want to know approximately its pH. Is it a dangerous base? Is it close to neutral? What kind of base is it? So I'm going to grab a piece of this, and I'm going to dunk it in. And I'm going to try and match it as best as I possibly can. So we're looking here. You can see this. It's probably around a 12 to a 13 pH. So that's pretty basic. So it's pretty dangerous base. Good thing I didn't drink that one. Okay. You can also tell if something is a base. If you use something like bromothymol blue. And if you add bromothymol blue in to a base it won't change any color, okay? If you add phenolphthalein into a base, it should turn a bright pink. So that is an example of one that would be a base. And now we're gonna look at the rest and see if we can find acids and whatnot. So I'm gonna grab another piece of litmus paper. No change, so red stays red if it's an acid. So let's see what happens when I grab blue litmus paper. If I can grab any. There we go. So you can see a distinct change here from blue to red. Okay. See what our possible pH could be. it in. Hopefully you can see it's turning quite a bright orange on the top. So it's looking like it's matching with a pH of 4. So we got a pretty strong acid here. In the presence of an acid, I'm not sure why phenolphthalein turned orange. It should have stayed clear. But bromothymol blue will turn yellow. So this is a good example to show you what happens when there's cross-contamination. There was probably a bit of something in here that caused it to change color. So let's take a look again at the next set. Dunk it in. Ooh, that went really blue very fast. So it looks like we got a strong base once again. No change there. Let's look at here. Wait for the color change. Um, we're looking closer to a 12, so another very strong base. So again, bromothymol blue should stay its blue color, and phenolphthalein should turn pink in the presence of a base. All right, let's keep moving. Let's see what else we got here. So here I have, let's dunk it in. No change. Oops. So we're hoping that this beautiful one turns cool red, which you can see I got some on my thing, so it did. So there's my red from blue. So this is looking close to an acid. But let's find out what its actual pH is. Dunk it in. Let's see, so we're going to go along and match it. Uh, look 
looking like it's about a pH of 2. So that would be an example of another pretty strong acid. In the presence of phenothaline, it should stay clear. There's a better example. This one, like I said, showed cross-contamination. This is showing what's actually happening. And in the presence of bromothymol blue, an acid turns yellow. Last one, let's take a little bit of our red here, dunk it in. No change. Let's take a blue. See if I can pick it up. Guess not. Let's try this again. Interestingly enough, a little bit of a red change there. Okay, pH. Dunk it in. Looking like a six, so we're pretty close to neutral on that one. Neutral being seven. Let's see what happens when we use our indicator here. Nothing is happening with bromothymol blue. And nothing is happening with phenothaline. So this is pretty neutral, I would suspect, as a substance. We had a little bit of a change to pink on a blue strip. I don't know if you can see, it's a very faint change. But the pH indicator indicated that it was close to neutral. It kind of fell between these two. So it's a pretty neutral substance. So ladies and gentlemen, that is acids and bases and how we can determine if something is extremely acidic or extremely basic. Uh, we have litmus paper, red for acid, blue for base, and then our bromothymol blue, blue to yellow in an acid, and phenothaline to goes from clear to pink in a base. We have our indicator, which tells us where approximately it falls on the pH scale.